Hi, the purpose of this demo is to look at exporting images from PowerPoint into Power BI. And this is particularly useful for those users who don't have access to creative software packages like Photoshop and Illustrator. In this demo, we're going to expose a few little techniques that, that we have used to help other teams work through their ideas in terms of generating creative assets for Power BI reports. First of all, we're just going to go to our uh, to our template. We built this template. It's a standard PowerPoint screen. We have just a little background image which outlines the four key steps for changing and adding an image into PowerPoint. And I'm just going to take you through some of the steps. If we go into the design menu, we go to format background, and here we make sure we've got picture and text fill highlighted. We can then locate our file that we want to add. As you can see here, we have our images. We could import a, uh, we've done a few tests in Photoshop and the conventional way that we would do this in Photoshop is to bring the image in and then we would expand the canvas. We would then duplicate parts of that canvas or parts of the image and then copy the background over to extend our background area. However, in this case, we're gonna pretend we don't have access to those pieces of software. So I'm gonna pick up an image we've downloaded from Creative Commons and I'm gonna add that into my background. Now what PowerPoint will do here is it will take our image and drop it into the PowerPoint page and provide the best crop. Now what we would like to do is we're going to remove all of these presets over here and so we basically get end up with an image that is really skewed out and distorted. Now we want to make our world circle again. So how do we do this? We look at the offsets over here. Now we can't grab and tweak corners here because it's all this is a background image so if we do left 20 it pushes our image over to the right so we know that if we work on this and we do 20 pushes our image over to the left and all we've got to do here is potentially maybe double that up see what we get okay it's starting to get circular but still looks a little bit skewed so i'm just going to add a few more okay somewhere around about there now we've got this white area over here. How are we going to deal with that? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to insert, grab a shape, and we grab the rectangular tool. And what this will do is just drop this in with one of your base colors. And what I'm going to do here is go over to the color. I'm going to select the eyedropper and I'm going to copy that color over. Now the key to importing a cover page image or any image like this is that you've got to think about this in the next stage. So you've got to think about how is this image going to work with text and iconography and any layers of branding that needs to be included. So what we have done or what we do, we tend to build a little guide screen. And in this guide screen, we use this to help us place our image and work out where the all these elements are going on the screen. Now, this isn't a screen that we would export purely because when we push this into Power BI, it might distort the text or it might distort the logo. One of the things we don't want to do from a creative design perspective is start distorting clients' logos or any brand logo for that matter. So what we do is we have our template screen. It's clean and clear. And we're just going to adjust that a bit more. I think that's better. So now we have our image, we've imported it into PowerPoint, we've adjusted our image and we've replicated the background and we've copied the color over. Now we have an image that we can export. How do we export this image? We go to file and we go to export, change file type, PNG and save as. Okay, this has come up with obviously the file of the PowerPoint, what we want to do here is we're going to rename our slide. Now we are only be exporting the slide. So I'm going to click save and it asks us, yes, we just want this one to load. Now that has exported our image. Now, how do we import that back into Power BI? I'm going to switch over to Power BI now. And this is a template we've set up in Power BI. The screen ratios are exactly the same. They're 1280 by 720. 
And what we're going to do now is if you click on here, the reason why this is gray is so that we can see light and dark text and any other branding. So if we would come on here and it would just be white, we wouldn't be able to see any of this or differentiate any other colors. So go into our visualizations pane and we're going to look at canvas background. And here we're going to navigate to our image. We're going to grab our image for that we've just saved and we're going to open that. And there we go. Our background or our full bleed background image is now being imported into Power BI. You can go through and if you have different types of images, you can go through and click fill. If you were to take an image which was roughly rectangular straight from your image source that you hadn't adapted in any way, shape or form, and it needed a, some marginal adjustments, you can then apply image fit or image fill. But because we've set this up in a template or in PowerPoint, we can then bring this through. We don't have to apply any other image fit sizing to this image. And that concludes this demo for exporting PowerPoint images from a predefined template into Power BI.